request from Angelica A here on YouTube. I'll go ahead and link her channels. Her channel every once in a while you'll she does a Dollar Tree haul so go check her out and tell her I sent you. But she had requested on how I contour and um, she had requested on my review of the Rimmel and Wet n Wild um, makeup product. She had requested that I do my contour or you know show how I do my contour so I thought I would do that for you today today might not have been the best filming day because it's been snowing for three days straight well today it's not snowing but it's supposed to snow and you know it's kind of cloudy and stuff I hope I'm not too washed out if I am I guess I'll refill so let's go ahead and get started with how I contour here is my all-time favorite this is my elf contouring blush and bronzing powder in st. Lucia I have not tried all the other shades nor have I tried the matte one this one I just love to death this one is the perfect brown for me and I think it works well with any uh, pale skin um, of course, you know, I'm only one shade of pale, but <laughs> I think it looks nice on me. Again, it comes with the blush and the bronzer. So let me swatch this for you. This one here is like a muddy brown. And, you know, this swatch here is obviously heavy. You can blend it in. But that's what that looks like. And I do believe for pale skin, this is the perfect bronzer. My e.l.f. blush brush. This is what I use to contour. It's just the perfect... Uh, shape to get here in the hollows of my cheeks. I really like it. I use the side of it and sometimes the tip to blend, but I mostly use the side of this brush. Um, you know, there's other contouring brushes you want that you can use out there. This is just the one that I use. So I go ahead and get into my palette here and I go on the side with my brush and I go back and forth and you don't want to get too much. This is really pigmented. And then all I do is I turn it so I can see the hollows on my cheeks. I know where it goes naturally because I've been doing it for about six months now, maybe almost a year now. So I kind of know where it goes. But if you don't, you kind of suck in. And you'll see this, like, dark line. I'm sure everyone knows how to do that and, you know, how to apply it or how to find the hollows of your cheek. If not, you can roll this down until it kind of sinks into your face. So that's about where my hollows of my cheeks are. And, um, I, I, since I've been doing it for a while, it seems like I have a dent there now. That's kind of like my natural guideline. <laughs> it's like a permanent contour. But, um, anyways, so that's, you know, pretty much all on my cheek. I go like this sometimes, too. I'm trying to talk like this. Oh, my God. I sometimes, uh, put my face to the side like this, and it gives you that contour, where you to contour as well. That, and then I'm just going to put it in the hollows of my cheeks. And I go really light at first because, you know, you can always add more, but you can never take away. And then I'll use the clean side here to kind of blend. But that's pretty much the basis of how I contour the sides of my cheeks. I just, you know, and I can add more if I want more. And I always go up into my cheekbones so that way I can blend my bronzer and my blush together. And I never go too far because sometimes you can go too far and it, you know, really sees your mustache. If you have, like, problems with mustaches, like I do, um, <laughs> it kind of can make you look like you have a mustache even more. So I don't go too far. I just kind of contour that on the side. So let me do the other side. I'll fast forward it up so you can see it a little bit, you know, quicker so this video isn't too long. And, um, if you notice, I don't suck in. I usually do that. I find sucking in for my face because I have a little bit of a round face and I'm chunky that it doesn't really suck in those hollows. Like, some girls you'll see, they're really skinny, you know, they have a slender face, and they can suck in and get where their hollows or their cheeks are. I do that, and it just sucks in right here, so... 
I don't usually do that. I do this because then it's pulling my skin tight over my cheekbone and I can see that. So now that I have my contour on, that's all I contour. I don't do a lot of here unless I feel like I'm extra bloaty that day and I need to contour or I need to hide this double chin. But since I had some health changes here recently, my double chin is going away, so I don't really contour a lot right there anymore. Um, and I don't do up here either because my face is a little bit rounder. I kind of just leave it natural like that, but I do like to have that little contour in there. So anyways, like I said, you know, everyone's different and everyone has different face shapes and they do it differently. Again, this is just the way I do it. So next thing I do to, I kind of like to clean up my contour. Um, a lot of people call it cooking. Um, you know, you can highlight under that contour. I like it because I'm cleaning it up because sometimes I get a little bit messy. So I use my NIC Smooth Skin. This is in Translucent. And again, I'm using an e.l.f. blush brush, a different one. This one's only purpose is to, for my cleanup here. So I get a bit of that translucent powder on there and I go right under my contour to clean it up. And I come out here sometimes because sometimes I get a little crazy with it. But it just gives it that nice line. Now, I don't blend it in, I leave it there so that way it has time to soak in. I'm gonna do my blush. I'm just gonna show you guys this whole process here that I do. Um, next, I'm gonna take my complexion bl brush. It's just this big fluffy brush and I'm gonna put my blush I'm gonna put my blush on, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the blush that's in this palette. I don't typically like it, although I'm hitting pan on it. I like to use it by myself because the contour is so um pigmented that the blush looks like it's not pigmented but today we'll go ahead and use it and this does definitely have shimmer in it when you put it on your face so the blush definitely transfers that shimmer so I'm gonna go ahead and put my blush on and I go back and forth like this because it helps blend in that contour and my blush The rule that I always do with my blush um, is I kind of leave two finger lengths between my nose and my cheek. I don't go all the way to my cheek or to my nose. You can if you want. You can do it that way. Whatever you prefer, I always say. Like I said in the beginning, there's no right or wrong. So you do what you like. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on my highlight. This is the Fergie um, Center Stage Collection in Hollywood Boulevard. And oh my god, I love this highlighter. It's just a beautiful golden highlight. So I just put this right on top of my blush. And okay, now I take my um, powder brush. This is by e.l.f. as well. I use e.l.f. brushes. That's just what I prefer. Um, and they're cheap, you know, so they're good brushes. But anyways, this is just a blush brush and it's just a flat top brush. And I go ahead and blend everything in as well as blend in that cooking. Then I take a little bit more of that translucent powder on my blush brush, or on my powder brush, sorry. And I blend in and make that softer, that contour and that brush, blush. And we're done. That's all I do. It's really simple and easy and you know, there's nothing, no science to it. I just, that's all I do. And this is the way I like it to look. I think that putting that translucent powder on it softens that up a little bit to make it look, look more natural. And I do believe it helps slim the face a little bit. Like I said, I don't really contour under here anymore. It does help slim that face a little bit, but with the way my face shape is, I don't think it looks, you know, it doesn't really slim it that much. Um, Angelica, I hope this really helped you out. And, um, you know, if you have any more questions, you can ask me. Um, you know, just leave them down in the description or down in the comments below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. And yeah, so that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you could see everything, and I'll see you next time. Bye!